So the Boeing 777 is arguably the most successful commercial aircraft which has ever got off the production line, even surpassing the Queen of the Skies. It goes without saying that 2019 is going to be a very exciting year, with the first flight of the 777X and the production starting for the largest variant of the 737 MAX family, the 737 MAX 10. Another milestone has been hit for the Boeing company, with them reaching more than 2000 orders for the Boeing 777, which is something that no other wide body aircraft has ever done before. So last month in December, the Boeing company received an order for 17 777s from BOC Aviation and two from a private customer, bringing the program to a total of 2013 orders. It's worth noting that this number includes only three of the 777 variants which are in production, the 777-300ER, the 777-Freighter and also the new and upcoming 777X. Beyond the overall sales total, the performance of the 777 really shows how versatile it is in the long haul market. After clinching 40 orders in 2017, the 777 has gained 51 orders in 2018 and also 209 orders over the past 5 years. As of the end of November, the 777 has gained more orders in 2018 than each Airbus widebody jet, which includes the A350, the A330 and also the A380. Over the past decade, the 777-300ER has outsold the plane in its class, the A350-1000, by more than 3 to 1, while the 777 family has outsold the A350-1000 by more than 5 to 1. The fact that the 777 is so popular is not really a surprise to be honest. But why is it that the 777 program is so successful? Well firstly, the range of the plane allows airlines to fly practically anywhere in the world whilst offering killer economics. Out of the 20 longest commercial routes which have been operated today, 10 of them are still being flown by the 777. The freighter version is also doing very well, seeing success from cargo carriers such as DHL, FedEx, ANA Cargo, Turkish, Qatar etc. As the largest and the longest range twin engine plane in the world, the freighter variant has practically no competitors with its ability to fly 4,900 nautical miles and a payload of 112 tons. So, Boeing have created for themselves a great foundation to build upon with their next iteration of the 777X. The first test flight is scheduled in the second quarter of this year and it will have an even longer range of around 8,700 nautical miles and better fuel efficiency. Up to now, Boeing has received 326 orders for the 777X and Emirates has ordered most of the planes, 150 planes to be exact, followed by Qatar Airways with 60. But we can expect that once airlines see the performance advantage of the plane, more orders will come Boeing's way. The 777 has done really well and it will continue to do so for quite a while. However, the last firm order for the 777X was placed by Singapore Airlines in June of 2017. No orders were made at all in 2018, however there are several airlines which are considering placing an order, but none of them have placed a firm order as of yet. It's just how it goes at the beginning, only a few airlines place orders, and after a lot of interaction with other airlines and perhaps even with the Boeing spokesman, the orders will come flooding in soon. So although the 777 orders may be slightly low at the moment, remember that Boeing are looking towards the future and not so much at this moment in time, because a lot of airlines will be wanting to replace their large wide body fleet. So captains, do share your thoughts and opinions regarding this news. If you've ever flown on the Boeing 777, then do let us know what your experience was like and whether you'd prefer to fly with Airbus. Thank you so much for watching, leave a like and be sure to subscribe and I'll check you guys very soon.